Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. My name is Rashida and today I'm going to show you guys how to make string beans with garlic and cherry tomatoes. So this recipe, but this recipe to me is really good because it's simple. Um, you can use it for a Thanksgiving salad, you can use it for an everyday side. And I think it's always fun to know how to cook vegetables different ways. So let's get right into it. So what you're going to need first is some olive oil. You're gonna need some green beans, some cherry tomatoes, some garlic, and some of your favorite seasonings, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just heat up my pot. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna start um, cutting up and dicing. You wanna really mince because you don't want like big pieces of garlic when you eat it. You're gonna really start mincing your garlic. While you're mincing, just add your olive oil to your pan. Okay. And again, you just want to make sure that your garlic is really, really, really minced. Like, we want every bite for you to be able to taste some type of garlic inside of the green beans. And I love cooking with garlic personally because it adds so much flavor to everything. Like, it's just really, really good. So it's something that anytime I cook vegetables, whether I'm cooking like an American style or like Asian style or Jamaican style vegetables, I always make sure that I add in my garlic. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that into the pot. So now I kind of let the garlic cook with the oil because I want the garlic to flavor the oil so that you really have like a garlicky flavored string bean recipe. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my string beans in. Okay. And just let that saute. And the reason why I'm tossing it is because I want the olive oil that I added to get on and coat all the string beans so that it can all cook evenly. So now I'm just gonna let that continue cooking. And then I'm going to start slicing my cherry tomatoes. gonna add that in there as well isn't that so beautiful and colorful do you see the color there and then I'm also gonna add some seasoning so I have like my favorite blend that I've been telling you guys that I use is just smoked paprika with some garlic powder, some black pepper, some onion powder. I don't like to cook with a lot of salt. I like to use a lot of herbs and dried spices instead. And if you just see, this is beautiful. Like look how flavorful this looks. You have your garlic, you have your juicy cherry tomatoes, you have your spice and your flavors from the different herbs that I just add in the different spices. Toss that all around. So I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna watch it on like a medium high heat and I'm gonna let it continue to cook. I'm also gonna add, mm, let me show you guys how much wood I'm going to add. I'm going to add a little bit of water as well. Okay. 
and that's your finish it. That's it. That's all you have to do, guys. Fresh, beautiful vegetables as a side. You have your garlic, you have your cherry tomatoes, you have your spices, and you're ready to go. So I'm just gonna let that simmer, and I'm gonna show you guys the final product. Guys, our string beans are ready. So now I'm just gonna turn the fire off and I'm gonna plate this up. And when you're making string beans, you don't wanna overcook it. When it starts going from green to brown, you may have cooked it for too long. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, you can use frozen vegetables. I think that Frozen vegetables are very helpful because we all live busy lives and we don't have time to go shopping every day for fresh vegetables. So if you could get them frozen, get them frozen. I would stay away from the canned vegetables just because most of them have a lot of sodium in it that they put to help preserve the vegetables. So if you can stay away from the canned, stay away from the canned vegetables and just stick to fresh or frozen. They're good, they're crunchy. Mm. And then the flavor from the grape tomatoes, they literally like burst. And everything together, you may feel like, okay, this is like really, really simple. But when you really put it all together with the garlic, and the cherry tomatoes and the freshest of the string beans, it really, really is a great pair. So I think this is a great option if you need just like a side dish or if you just need something that's light or heavy, this is a great choice. So again, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. When you try it out, let me know how it works at home, okay? Thanks guys for watching Miss Goody's Kitchen. Have a good day.